Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure training series. My name is Neeraj. I am an enterprise architect and Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate and I will be your instructor for this course. Welcome to my course on understanding and configuring Azure front door services. Today, we are going to learn about what an Azure front door service is and then we will have a quick demo on configuring Azure front door service with app services. Let's get started. After being in the public preview for around a year, Azure front door service has finally become generally available on April 4th, 2019. This service can be compared to Azure Traffic Manager in a way that this also provides global HTTP load balancing to distribute the traffic across different Azure regions, cloud providers, or even with your on-premises applications and services. It additionally provides better performance and instant failover when compared to Traffic Manager. Users experience better performance than Traffic Manager because Azure Front Door, abbreviated as AFD, uses Anycast and Split TCP, which provides lower latency, thereby providing higher performance. Also, along with providing global HTTP load balancing, enabling you to create applications that are globally distributed among different regions, one of the other reasons is that it provides SSL offload. This in turn takes that load off the web front ends which do not have to encrypt or decrypt the request and that overhead is now with AFD. Finally, AFD provides WAF which is web application firewall feature for your application to provide security from the DDoS attacks which is denial of service attacks. The way AFD works is that it caches the static content of your application which it returns when a user tries to access the application without the need to do a server trip. I told you that AFD uses Anycast. Now what is Anycast? It is a network addressing and routing methodology that tries to reach the destination using the fewest hops amongst the other routes available. So they can be multiple routes but amongst the many routes available AFD chooses for the shortest and the fewest hops. AFD also uses split TCP that breaks connections into smaller pieces thus reducing latency and better performance. If you look at the picture, users accesses the application, it goes to Azure front door services and there it is decided which region the request should be routed to. So here we have two regions with the app services web app, region 1 and region 2. And if someone from close to the region 1 tries to access the application, the request is routed to region 1 app services web app. And similarly, if someone from region 2 tries to access the web app, it is routed to region 2 app services web app. There are questions related to Azure Traffic Manager as well as Azure Front Door Services because both of them act in a similar fashion. So what is the difference and what was the need for the Azure Front Door Services? Now here I have tried to put some of the major differences between Azure Front Door Services as well as Azure Traffic Manager. Let's see what those differences are. The first one is that the Traffic Manager relies on the DNS lookup which is the domain name server lookup for name resolution for network routing. Whereas AFD provides faster failover support as it is a reverse proxy. When we talk about the Azure front door services, it caches the static content and it provides faster content without server round trips. With Azure Traffic Manager, there is no caching available with it. Whereas with Traffic Manager, there is no caching available. Azure Front Door provides SSL offloading but still provides end-to-end -end encryption. There is no SSL offloading in Traffic Manager though. And with Traffic Manager, it does not use services like Anycast or Split TCP but we just discussed that Azure Front Door service uses Anycast and Split TCP for better network performance. The primary difference is in how the traffic manager relies on DNS lookups to route the customer requests to your backend services. If a service endpoint becomes unhealthy, 
a customer will need to wait for their cached DNS result to expire before failing over. We will start our demo by creating a resource group. We will click on add and give it a name. We will type in ATCSL, review and create and finally click on create. So this has been provisioned and we will go to app service plan as a next step and there we will create two app service plan in two regions. So we'll select the resource group, we will give it a name which is ATCSL app services plan ASP windows and review plus create. So it will create the app service plan in the central US region. The deployment is underway, it will take a couple of minutes and it is done. So we will go back to app service plan and create another app service plan in the East US region. We will click on app and select the resource group as usual, give it a name which is ATCSL ASP East US EUS, select Windows and this should be in East US too. So we selected the region and then we will review plus create and finally after validation we will click on create. So by the time the app service plan is getting deployed we will go to app services and create app service web app for both the regions which is central US and the east US too. We will click on add and select the resource group which is ATCSL and give it a name. So we will give it a name say EUS for Eastern US and then web app app and yeah it, it's good and uh, we will select the runtime which is 4.7 and then select the region which is East US 2 and I think we should be good. One thing to be noticed is if you see the app service plan it is showing as EUS at the end because East US 2 is something that I chose for the uh, region. So we will click on create and we are sorted with this. So the app service is getting deployed and we will go and click on create add again to create the app services web app for the central US region. We will give it a name CUS web app. Choose the same runtime framework which is 4.7. This time it is central US it is fine and app services plan is showing as for the central US. So we validate it and finally create. The second app services web app is getting deployed and the deployment is complete for this one. So we will test the web app one by one by going to each of the regions. So this is the central US which opened and now the east US and it opens as well. So we are good with the deployment. The next thing is we need to create a front door. So we will go ahead, click on front door and then click on add. We will select the resource group which is ATCSL again but before that configuration. So as a first step we need to create the front end hosts. We will click on plus and give it a name. We will type test FD for front door. Yes, it is available. And then I can either enable or let remain disable the session affinity. So we'll leave it, we'll leave it as it is and then we can click on add. As a next step, we need to add the backend pools. We will give it a name which is test FDBP. I think back in pools yes should be there so test FDBP we can give any name so I'm not very creative with the names and then the next step is to add the back in pools we'll choose app service because that is what we created although we have other options but for our demo purposes we'll choose app service 
we will choose one of the endpoints that we already created and then click on add. So one backend pool has been added. We will click the add pool again and now we will choose the app service and this time we will choose the East US. Click on add and we have the backend pools added. That is done. We'll click on add and health probe we can leave as it is for our demo purposes. We can use HTTP or HTTPS. So I think we are good. We'll click on add. And then as a third step, we need to create the routing rule. So we will click on plus. And then give it a name, which is app service rule. We can let remain all the other options as it is. We will caching I've enabled. So that is demo purposes. You can leave it as it is, but I've just enabled it. And then click on add. This will hardly take some time and it will be deployed very quickly for you. And we will click on create. And the deployment is complete. And we have the front end host. So we'll go back to the EUS web app, which is Eastern US web app. And in the deployment center, we will configure its Dropbox. So since I already had a connection earlier, Neeraj Kumar is being shown there. And a default folder will be created for both East US and Central US. So for East US, it is a success. We will create a we will create a file uh, that is to be shown for our demo purposes. So I'll just type in any statement. Maybe this content is from East US is fine. We'll save it. Uh, let's save it on my desktop. And I'll create a folder front door. And inside that I'll save it as index. No, let it let me do it as uh, default.html. Yes, and I'll save it. And this file has been created. I'll copy this in my East US Dropbox folder. And then I'll modify the content for Central US. And I'll change it to Central. That's it. And now save it. and copy paste this one to the central us folder for in the dropbox central us and paste it once that is done i'll go back to the app service and click on sync to sync the content so synchronization is pending and it is success Similarly, we'll go to Central US and click on the sync button again. Shows as pending and a success. So that is done. Now we will go ahead and uh, we'll copy the front end host URL, which is the front door URL. Copy it and go to the browser and click on paste and, and remove the S as we do not have the certificates. And it shows that the content is coming from East US. We will refresh it again. And now the content is from Central US. So that concludes the demo. And we see how the Azure front door routes the request to different regions. Now what happens is earlier it opened the page for me from the East US. But since I am in Central US, it tried to find the nearest region for me and it pulled the content from Central US thereafter. 
so it shows how the routing is happening in Azure front door. So what did we learn today? We learned about the Azure front door services and how it can be best utilized when you have distributed application load across different regions. We learned about the differences between Azure front door services and Azure traffic manager. And finally, we also saw a demo on configuring Azure front door services with App Services Web App. I hope that you enjoyed this session. You can download the training materials from azuretraining.com or from Slideshare. Thank you for being with me. Keep assuring.